So if y'all remember, I said at one point in time that in reality, GT fans truthfully don't like the character Vegeta. I've said this. And now, Booty Memes has openly admitted that he never liked the character Vegeta. You see what I'm saying? So what I said before appears extremely applicable. These are people who don't like Vegeta. And what they enjoy most was the destruction of his character that GT did. Although, we can rest assured that it's not the truthful representation of the character. The real truthful representation of who he is, what he would do, what he would be capable of is seen in Dragon Ball Super. And that blows their mind. It upsets them to no end. And it's actually crazy because they say that they like things about Vegeta that aren't really substantiated by Dragon Ball GT itself. Now these GT bucket soda boys say things like he's a family man, forgetting the whole time that they have zero instances of GT Vegeta being a better family man than the real representation of Vegeta, which is in Dragon Ball Super. Now, in Dragon Ball Super, this is a Vegeta who neglects a multi-universal tournament to see his child born. A Vegeta who changes diapers with a smile on his face, who schools an evil Kai for stealing Goku's body and killing his wife and son, taking revenge for Goku and telling Goku Black that he's nothing compared to the true Kakarot since he built that body and its power through his experiences, teachings and practices, ragdolling Goku Black with the, with the newsflash that he'll never learn to think like Goku. When Goku was KO'd by Sorbet, guess who got in the way? When Goku was laid out on the ground after 17 sacrificed himself for both of them, despite the fact that Vegeta had just used Final Explosion, who was the first one standing and defending Goku? When Vegeta, because he was defending Goku, eventually was knocked out of the ring and Goku was still unable to get up, who gave him the energy that he needed to stand so he didn't just get immediately thrown out? Who summoned enough energy to give to Goku to stand? Who openly supported Goku in front of the gods of multiple universes and their angel attendants in front of the grand priest in front of the omni kings what what feet do gt vegeta have to say that he has shown that much respect or that much pride in goku to where in just a little bit of time the entire universe will be erased by a force of which none of you guys can handle Oh, your boys would have done nothing in that tournament. And as far as I can see, the soda boys, the cocoa butter boys, have nothing aside from just saying that, well, Vegeta asked Goku to fuse. Or Vegeta told Shenron that most of the time when Goku speaks, the things that he says come to pass. But Dragon Ball Super Vegeta stood in front of other universes while there's a second from the bottom and told off each one of their gods of destruction and their angel attendants and saying this fight ain't over goku is going to turn this around and whoop his ass in front of the grand priest in front of the omni kings and he even told him you mind your tongue mortal and he openly stated nah Goku's going to turn this around about a, about a Goku who was literally losing at that point. The amount of faith in Goku that he had to stake his honor. To say for certain Goku ain't never going to let this happen. Period. With a straight face, no anger, no nothing. This Vegeta has the feats to say. That him and Goku are close has the feats to say, right? This Vegeta has the feats to say what it is that you want to claim. That's why you're mad. Dragon Ball GT Vegeta was not even in most of those episodes. And you're not going to tell me that he's a better character by not being there than he would be by being in every arc and being inclusive of them getting a victory in every arc. Given feet and Goku sensu beans, giving him energy. GT Vegeta don't have the feats. He don't have the feats of loving his family. He don't have the feats of defending his family, of defending Goku. He doesn't have the feats of defending his wife, 
No feats of saving others like Master Roshi, Cabal, or Namekian children. No examples of him surpassing Goku in lesser forms. No feats of him lying on behalf of Frieza to keep his son safe from knowing about the tournament, which is a testament to how he'll take a blow to his pride to do the right thing. No statements about guilt of his past, and this is a huge one. No being seen as a savior on planet Namek by their people. No saving their race from extinction at this goat god who ate their life force. He quite literally gave them back their life essence all the way from a distance that was so far Goku had to travel in a spaceship for days before he could instant transmission back. This is huge. Explain to me what it is that GT Vegeta has done for anybody to say that he is a better character or that he had more development or that he had better development. It's time to pull off the hooded disguise the cloak of the diet soda boys, the cocoa butter boys, who have been trying to pretend as if they really believe this. These guys are Vegeta haters in disguise. And they just tell you, yeah, this is a better version of Vegeta. No, boy. No way. <laughs> Absolutely not. These are the people who don't like Vegeta. And like I said before, just how much can you trust somebody who doesn't like you? To help lead your business to success. How much can you trust somebody who wants a show to die and end to give you game breaking advice toward being a success? If they want your show to be canceled, no advice they give is going to give you success. They'll be disingenuous before they give you anything that they think or that they would ever admit is actually good for you. That they would ever be honest about saying is actually good for you. And that's what they do with Vegeta. They pretend. But it's in the open when you start roasting their opinion about Dragon Ball. That they accidentally say something that, you know, a nigga like me notice and be like, whoa. I guess that means that <laughs> you caught 